stand up, please? Do not pull away from me. Do you understand? You're a man. You cannot touch me. Touch. Stop. 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 You're gonna get hanged. Really? Stay in the car. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Are you kidding me? Mom, okay, call grandpa. Because I want to know what's going on. Uh, remember, your grandfather was a police officer for 35 years. Authority is your elders. Remember, please, I raised you better. Love can be a real roller coaster. When it's good, it's blissful, but when it goes wrong, things can get dark, and sometimes people even get arrested. Buckle up and get ready for four wild cases where trust is shattered and the consequences are anything but boring. This first case is a twisted love triangle, so buckle up. We've got three key players, Zara Percy, her boyfriend, and his side chick. And hold on to your seats because we have a wild confession from Zara. It's November 10th, 2023. Cops pull over a car, and what they're about to find is hotter than a jalapeno on the 4th of July. Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Conducting a traffic stop because of the tent, okay? Okay. Have you ever been pulled over for the tent before? No, uh, well, I haven't, but she has. This is her birthday. I've already gotten a ticket. I'm going to now. What's that? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you back your insurance and that. I'll just run this. Do you have any issues with your license or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Where are you headed to? Um, to take her to work and then go pick my husband up from work. And what's your name, ma'am? Jennifer. Jennifer. All righty. All right. Give me one second, okay? No problem. Stop on. Well, that's weird, huh? Show me out my PD for walk up. I said that's weird, huh? Okay, that Zara person is the person that this. Yeah. You want to get try to get the um, the passenger's ID too. The front and back. Could try. I'll walk up there with you. Fortunately, the driver. Jennifer handed over her license and registration without any argument. Until now, everything seems legit. Well, except for one thing, those tinted windows. The officer notices them, raising an eyebrow. It seems that Jennifer's car had already been charged with those modifications. So he heads back to his patrol car to verify some details. But what he's about to find is truly shocking. Do you have anything, do you have any weapons on you or no. anything like that? No. What am I being arrested for? Can I be read my rights? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Just wait two seconds. Mom, okay, call Grandpa. I want to know what's going on. Things get weird really fast because one of the passengers gets flagged in the system, so the cop asks Zara Percy to step out for a moment and immediately handcuff her. Initially, she acted all innocent and asked her mother to call her grandpa instead of a lawyer. Um, basically, there was a and you were identified as the lawyer who was shooting us. They never shot him. Okay. Well, that's beyond me. They have done a full investigation. They've been investigating it every day. They have a video of what she's doing. Okay. So that, that you want your phone to just make it sure. Give it to your mom? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it, Jay. Mom, you gotta call off work. Call off work. 
Did you already call her 1012. First, let me paint you a picture of what went down earlier. A shocking incident was reported at an apartment complex. Shots were fired, and after digging deep, Percy was identified as the alleged shooter from the video evidence that was collected. What Percy did was truly alarming. Apparently, she fired a gun into the car of her sugar daddy's full-time girlfriend, while the poor woman's one-year-old baby was right there in the vehicle. Was it outside my apartment? I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't there, so. If so, I'm pissed. <laughs> I mean, it was in South Daytona, so... I don't know the exact details. She's telling me to call her. She's just the registered owner of the vehicle, so... Yeah, she's my daughter. I'm her mom. He has my ID. No, he didn't take my ID. He didn't, he didn't take my ID. Yes, ma'am, I'm not issuing any citations or anything. Can I get out and get it? If you want, yeah. She's going to step out to come grab the jewelry. Okay. Just sit by the front of the car, yeah, if you would. Yes. Okay, okay, listen. I don't know what's going on. There's one more. I love you. Your baby loves you. He will be fine. I need you to stay Okay. I'm going. I am. Okay. 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 David. Okay. Okay, I told her stay with me. I don't think I got any more. You got a couple of people. I'll leave those on. Those are protection bracelets. Well, they're going to make them take you off. They can't take They have to. No, they can't. Zira, please, when you go in there, don't act a fool. Listen. Uh, remember, your grandfather was a police officer for 35 years. Authority is your elders. Remember, please, I raised you better. Wow, does that hurt? I don't no. know. That felt really gross. It looks shaking. like it hurts. I love you. You want a bag to put that in? Can you write my mama's number down? I do too. Yeah, it works. Zara Percy vehemently denied the allegations against her and immediately called her mom for advice. Her mom, ever supportive, told her to get an attorney and offered to call Zara's workplace to arrange some time off so she could be there for her daughter. The officer explained that there would be a $2,500 bond and that Zara would be taken into custody. Zara was subsequently booked into the Valia County Jail on a felony charge of shooting into a vehicle. She was released later that same day after posting a $5,000 bond. Zara Percy is scheduled to return to court for her arraignment on December 5th. But Zara isn't the only one who got into trouble with the law because of this scandalous love affair. This time it was a 20-year-old woman. But before we move on, smash that like button. It all went down on July 20th, 2021, in Sparta, Wisconsin. Officers were called to break up a fight between a man and a woman. On their way, they got an update. A witness reported that the woman was grabbing the man by the throat, had torn his shirt, and had him pinned to the ground. The woman in question was 20-year-old Nicole Campton. When the officers arrived, they saw Nicole and the man pulling apart from each other. As soon as Nicole spotted the officers, she started to walk away. But that was just the beginning of what turned into a wild foot chase and eventually led to the police using a taser to bring things under control. Miss, stop! I'll take a second car. She's walking away from me now. And, uh, stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Okay, I won't. Okay, stand, okay. There. Nice, okay. stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stop right now! Right in your back, right now. Please. My hair is in my face. Okay. 
<laughs> Put your other hand behind your back. I can't like this. Stop. Hey, roll on your stomach. Move your leg over. Please, I can't breathe. Hey, step back. The officers ran after Nicole, shouting for her to stop, but she kept going. Out of breath, she pushed on until one officer finally caught up and tried to cuff her. Nicole fought back hard, gasping for air until they managed to pin her down. No! Do not pull away from me! Do you understand? You are under arrest. You are going to comply. You are not going to pull away from me. Stand here. I do not know what's inside of here. Jamal. Just relax. Cover court. I want. Okay. Just relax. stand up, okay? Relax. If you quit resisting, then. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah, you feel it. 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 What is your name, miss? I don't have a name. Okay. Well, you do. No, I don't. Stop trying to pull away from me. My okay? hair's in my god mouth. Relax. Relax. Go. Sit down, please. I love you. I love you. What are we doing here? <laughs> While being searched, Nicole suddenly lashed out and kicked the officer right in the leg. The officer, furious and in pain, warned her sternly that her actions had serious consequences. They informed her that she now faces felony charges, adding to the gravity of her situation. Stand up for I know, that's why I want to turn to face the car. Do you have anything on you? Do you have anything on you I should know about? I was 64, I'll be back when you're ready. Hold still. Hold still, please. Hold still, please. Then stop fighting You're a man! You cannot touch me! Tough sh you cannot touch me! That's all we got. No! You need to get her over here! You cannot touch me! Stop it. Stop touching Stop it. You cannot touch me! Jenna! Don't you kick me or you're gonna go to the ground again! Get over here! If you kick me, you're gonna go face down into the ground. She's being an ass. You can't search her because she keeps squirming on me. Yeah, you can't search me. You're right. You're not a female. It doesn't matter. Relax. Well, we have to search you. He just added another charge by kicking me, by the way. That's a felony. Shut up. Those aren't locked, double locked at all. Oh, look. Well, you did this to yourself, dear. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I told you to stop. How many times? Do not call the cops. It doesn't matter who called. It doesn't matter who called. It does. No, it does not. It does. I did not do this. You can't say I did it when I did not do it. You didn't stop. Stop. Even though the officers tried multiple times to hold her down, Nicole wouldn't cooperate. She kept resisting, squirming, and dodging their attempts to restrain her. An officer, clearly annoyed by her behavior, scolded her firmly. Seeing they needed more help, they quickly called for backup on the radio. What did you see here? So, I was sitting in front of my window and they came to the stop sign. Basically, she was all over him. When she kept grabbing him, ripped his shirt open. He's valid. Negative 99. No one. No kidding. Kept jumping on top of him. 
trying to get them to the ground. They finally did get to the ground, <clears throat> but then came back up and wouldn't let them leave or anything else. Where did this take place? Right over here. I don't know whose squad that is. Okay. That's all I seen. I didn't know anything else about back here. What happened? What drew your attention to them? Well, at first I'm like, are they just screwing around? Yeah. And because she was all over them. Yeah. Okay. You said you, she said she was like jumping on his back or yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. And then she kept Last grabbing at his Camden, throat. Charles, Adam, and like, Mary, I'm Paul, calling Tom, Ocean, Nora, first of Nicole. So, I mean, I can't Unknown spelling. Legally use my radio. Right, right. After the whole thing went down, the police rounded up some witnesses to get the story straight. Seems like everyone agrees that Nicole was the one who threw the first punch. And apparently, it all had something to do with some text messages she came across. So what is going on? Just having a fight. And I wanted some space. Okay, but having a fight with this girl? Who is this? That's, that's, that's my girlfriend. That's what? That's my girlfriend. Just stand back with it. What's her name? Nicole Kim. Nicole Kim? Camton. C A M P T O N. What was going on? I tried to push. The fight started in the house. Okay. I wanted to leave. She sat in front of the door. Um, I just, she just kept trying to grab my stuff. Like what stuff? Whatever is in my pocket, whether it was cigarettes or phone or whatever. Okay. Did she rip open your shirt or? That was in the garage. Okay. Did she hit you at all? We just pushed each other a little bit. And I don't know. I get lost in the moment. Okay. The boyfriend also confessed that although the couple often engaged in arguments, he never anticipated Nicole's reaction to escalate to such aggression. Consequently. Prosecutors charged Nicole with felony battery of an officer, along with disorderly conduct and possession charges. Opting for a plea deal, she admitted guilt to reduced misdemeanors and paid fines to avoid incarceration. She remains eligible to have the charges expunged from her record upon successful completion of probation. Now let's now look at a different case where a college student who was involved in multiple affairs and got caught. On August 7, 2021, around 4.26 a.m., Officers from the Orange County UCF Police Department swiftly responded to a distressing 911 call originating from an off-campus college housing apartment complex. The initial call, made by one of Brandon's roommates, reported a disturbing assault occurring within their residence. The caller revealed that Brandon had been caught physically assaulting his girlfriend, even attempting to choke her. Upon the officer's arrival, the caller further specified that Brandon was discovered cheating on his girlfriend with another girl. I, I'm trying to sleep, so they keep waking me up. Okay. And she's just like, she locked him out of his room once, and then it's a the whole thing. And this all happened tonight? This happened like every night. Well, I need to know what happened tonight. Yeah, this like, happened tonight. tonight. Okay, all right, cool. Is it okay for us to go in? Yeah, you're good. Hey, man, what's your name? Where's Brandon? Brandon, okay, Brandon. I know you told this officer what happened, but tell me what happened real quick. Give me a rundown. So basically, I'm asleep. Uh-huh. I'm not exactly, it's, I'm a little tired. It's like, what time? 420, it's maybe like okay. an hour ago. I'm asleep, right? Okay. I'm asleep. So, she wakes me up and she's going through my phone. Okay. And she's like, who are all these girls? Who are all these girls? Starts going crazy. Throws my phone across the room. Okay. Turns into this. She grabs your phone and throws it across the room. Throws it across the room. Like, Where was your phone at? It was. Uh, she had it. She, she had was it. On she, it while, okay. I was, while I was asleep. Okay. Okay. Throws it across the room. Breaks it. I'm like, babe, like, what's going on? Like, like, like calm down. Okay. Starts throwing my bed apart. Everything just starts getting thrown apart. Like, I had a, a little empty bottle. Of, like, like Jack Daniels, like somewhere in the corner. She like smashes it. Takes my TV. Like throws it over the thing, like starts throwing stuff, like just throwing things. Was she everywhere. throwing anything at you, or just throwing she things around the room? Throwing it in general, just going okay. crazy. Okay, how did her phone get broken? And then she, yeah, she had her phone. She smashed her phone. She smashed her she phone. She took her phone. She just started just throwing everything. You got some red marks, red marks on your neck. How'd you get red marks on your neck? Uh, I do have eczema. Okay. Yeah, but like I'm looking at like this part over here. It looks... she, she didn't assault me or hit me. Or she didn't hit you or anything. Okay. Um, and I would never, I would never put my hands on me. Me and Trevor were trying to find a way to like, to just get her out, you know, but like, I'm not gonna put my hands on her and like physically like drag her out. When Brandon's girlfriend accused him of cheating, he got angry and tried to grab his phone from her. 
things got loud and chaotic, so the police showed up at Brandon's place to ask questions. Brandon said he didn't hit his girlfriend. He had a different story. He claimed his girlfriend looked at his phone without permission, which made him really mad and caused a big mess in the room. She never put her hands on me. Okay, because uh, I'll be honest, she's telling us something different. So I'm just trying to find out the truth because somebody's, somebody's lying. She said she hit me. She said you guys were wrestling around, yeah. So somebody's not telling me the truth and I just need to know. I, I don't want to get her in trouble. Bro, we're past that point. So just be honest, don't try to, you need to tell us the truth. I mean, yeah, she, she, she was slapping me around and, you okay. know. Why was she slapping you around? Because uh, I was telling her to leave. Okay. And she, and she wouldn't leave because my roommates all came over and they were like, they were like, she's got to go. And she's like trying to hit me and stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, was she hitting you because you had her phone? Well, her phone, she had already destroyed everything. She just started rampaging. Okay. And I kept telling her, I'm like, like, I'm not going to hit you. Like she, she'd stand in front of me like this. She'd be like, hit me, hit me, hit me then, hit me then. And I'm like, I'm not going to put my hands on you. Like I'm not putting my hands on you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I make that very clear. Like, but like, there's no other, like what choice do I have? I can't. Like just drag her out and throw her out the door. Like that's that's a battery. So she was refusing to leave. She was refusing to leave, and I just kept begging her. I was like, please leave. Like I don't like the cops are gonna get called. Like you're being very loud. You're screaming. Okay. You can ask my roommates. Like I like I kept saying that over and over. Like you're screaming. I think we need to go outside. Like maybe I could take you home. Maybe like I don't know what you need to do, but like like this we can't be doing this right now. After facing additional questioning. Brandon eventually opens up and admits to more details. He confesses that despite his requests, his girlfriend adamantly refused to leave the premises. As tension escalated, she unleashed her frustration in a frenzy of slaps and scratches, driven by an overwhelming sense of hysteria. Brandon recounts the chaotic scene, describing how her actions intensified the already volatile situation. So I'm gonna ask you a question, I want you to be honest with me. Yes. When was the last time you used drugs? Your, because I hear, let me tell you why, your pupils are huge, uh, hugely dilated. Well, I, so, sm I like, smoke marijuana every single day. Okay, cool. But when was the last time you used drugs? Because I mean, I'm talking about like last probably, night, probably last night hour, like, two hours. Probably like last night at like midnight. I, just, I smoked marijuana. Was that I, it? I have a medicinal card, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because your pupils are like huge. Probably like midnight. Like they're a lot bigger than marijuana. I mean, well, that's what I did. That's what I did at midnight. I, okay. I smoked some marijuana. Anything else? No, just marijuana. What kind of weed, what kind of weed do you get? Everything for that. I get really high THC weed. Okay. Was in, uh, sativa. Yeah, sativa, sativa. Okay. And the and the cartridges, and the, I think I have one that's like ninety percent. Ninety percent THC. You know. Oils. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's all legal. I like to do things you know, that's fine. the legal way. I don't. Um, what was your name again? Brandon. Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Can you hear me? Turn around. What? Did you arrest for? For what? Do not move. For what? Stop! 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 You're gonna get hurt! Stop! Please! Stop! Or you will be tased. I will tase you. Get on the ground right now. On the f***ing ground or I will tase you. On the f***ing ground. Put your stomach on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. I'm going to tase you. I'm going to tase you. Put your stomach on the ground. What am I under arrest for? On the ground. What am I under arrest for? Bro, I'm going to tase you. Get on the ground. On the f***ing ground. As it becomes evident that Brandon assaulted his girlfriend, officers inform him that he is under arrest for domestic battery. Suddenly, Brandon tries to flee the apartment in an attempt to resist arrest. A foot pursuit ensues as officers chase after him. Despite his efforts, Brandon is eventually subdued by a taser and apprehended by the police for resisting arrest. What am I being arrested for? I just want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I please say bye to Brandon, please? No, no, no. Please, okay. it won't be violent, please, because I love him no matter what. Can I? 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 Can I?
Um, yeah, please, just real quick. Mama, please, you and I say bye. To, I mean, ma'am. I know we just put these pants on. Can I please say bye to him? Can I get my phone to get my contacts at least? Your, is it broken completely? Where's the rest of the oh, phone? F that's oh, wrong. F Can I get that's, that's my funny. number from his phone? What number do you need from his phone? His phone, because he's gonna get out tomorrow, and his I'm number, gonna be here for 30 days. You're not gonna be able to have contact with him yeah. because it's domestic. Down to 21. Yeah. I'm 19. Both Brandon and his girlfriend are taken into custody. Brandon for domestic battery and resisting arrest, while his girlfriend is identified as the initial aggressor and faces charges accordingly. As they are transported to jail in a patrol vehicle, Brandon brazenly attempts to bribe the officer with a $10,000 offer in exchange for assistance in resolving his predicament. This bribery attempt leads to further felony charges being leveled against Brandon. In total, he is charged with domestic battery, resisting arrest, and second-degree bribery. Meanwhile, his girlfriend also faces charges of domestic battery and resisting arrest, as she too was taken into custody. But Brandon's story is not the only case of love gone horribly wrong. The case of Ashley is also a prime example. On April 13, 2021, an officer in Racine, Wisconsin, conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle. During the stop, the officer noticed that the driver had an active warrant. 401, we are going southbound, passing 13. Happy yeah, sure hold there. We are still rolling slow. Looks like we're stopping in the 1200 block now. Yeah, they stopped in the 1200 block. 22 on case they're heading away as well. If there's a K9 working, I'll take one. Mr. Jones, please yeah. step out the car. You're under arrest. Step out the car. No, he's not. Stop playing. Step out the car. Why? Stay in the car. Okay, okay stay, stay, stay. Relax. Stay in the okay, car. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm getting out of the car, yo. All right, put your hands behind your back, sir. Hey, put your hands behind your back. You have a warrant for your arrest. Why? The driver was identified as 53-year-old McCoy Jones. When the officer asked McCoy to exit the vehicle in order to arrest him, the situation quickly escalated. The female passenger, 31-year-old Ashley Hawley, became extremely agitated and vocal. She insisted repeatedly that McCoy was not the person the officer claimed he was. Really, are you guys kidding me? You guys Stay in the car! Fuck? Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Really? Stay in the car! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Are you kidding me? You have some bitch! I swear to God! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Put your hands behind your back! She's she's biting! She's biting! Put your hands behind your back! No! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Ashley seemed ready to fight every officer at the scene. She took off her jacket and burst from the vehicle, charging at the lone officer standing by the road. With wild fury, she tried to shove the officer, but he matched her strength and grappled with her to stop her attacks. As they struggled, she made it clear she would do anything to resist, even biting the officer's hand with ruthless force. Hit me. I'll take her to the hospital, man. Okay, so you don't get to bite people. Her chest is hurting, bro. I was going we're, to... We're going to roll you over onto your side, okay? Let me hold on. Let me double check the cuffs. My baby didn't do shit. Are you kidding me? Here on the street isn't the time. Ah! 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 You he is trying to adjust ah! it. But by pulling on it, it's only making it worse. You were Just pulling so... on it. No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you were. Ma'am. And you my face. Y'all going down. Because I ain't got shit on me. And y'all did this to me. Don't resist. I ain't got shit on me. Don't resist. All right, you can roll it, Margaret. All right. Yeah. Roll you over. Baby. Just sit I down. need you home. Just stay seated. Baby. Please, I need you home. Don't 
Baby, I told you. I wanted you home with me. I need you. He did already. <sighs> Baby, they my face up. They're pieces of shit. They seated. What am I sitting for? So we're waiting for a female to, come to do what? To come search you. I have shit on me, nothing. What is your name? None of your business. Five ID. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Stand up. Hey guys, guys, watch out, needle cam. She has tracks, she has track marks too. The officer's screams of pain were heard clearly as Ashley kept fighting. No amount of pleading or threats could make her let go of her bite. Backup officers arrived and joined the struggle to free their injured colleague. Despite their efforts, Ashley kept resisting as they wrestled her to the ground. While arresting her, officers found a needle in Ashley's jacket and a crack pipe under the seat of the vehicle. Now what? For what? At the For very what? least, resisting. So what, I get out? So what am I going, look what you did to my face, baby! They busted my face! Step up. Step up for me. No, f that. I ain't going. Y'all busted my face. I need, I want to talk to some sergeant. I'll I'm get not the sergeant for you, nope. but you're going in the I ain't van. going in until the sergeant comes. Nope. Nope. Put me on the motherfucking ground. I'm assist you in if you don't. No, I'm not. Yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're you guys yep. already kneel, need me really far. Ah! You motherfuckers! I hate you pieces of shit! Get off me, you pieces! Ashley was eventually taken to the police vehicle, but she stubbornly refused to get inside. Still defiant, she continued to resist. Meanwhile, the officer who had been bitten received medical treatment for his wound to ensure he was okay. Step down. Oh my gosh. Oh. Where's my purse or my jacket? <sighs> oh my god! I, I hate police. I've, I've never really f with you guys like that. It's, I, it has Keep this in right like, here for me. I don't like. I come on, dude. You're squeezing the shit out of me. I'm not. Yes, it's it's, okay. it's tight. You don't see how tight that is. Seriously, I hate you guys. We're going to this on both sides. Yeah, we're gonna go both sides. Shit. Take your like leg all up. you guys care about is yourselves. This is tight. Can you loosen this? I will, one. just relax. It's not tight. Keep your wrists like that. Yeah, but it hurts. It's not fair. Take your time. Rear flat. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat on the right hand side. Why don't you guys stop right away? Hey, Why'd you pull over right away? Huh? I, I've lit, I turned my sirens and lights on the 1500 block of South Memorial. You didn't stop to the 1200 block. You drove three blocks. Yeah, but you drove three blocks. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just curious. Sure, that's three blocks later. Yeah. Well, I had to pull over to the right, bro. I never make sure you cut. I was left lane. Come on, you know, whatever, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm not giving. I'm not adding anything, Mr. McCoy. I'm being real with you. I'm just curious, bro. I, I'm not. I'm not giving you any charges besides this. All right. There, there's no secrets about. I, I am just personally curious. And if you don't want to answer, don't. No, no. I, I answered it. Okay. I'm, I was just curious, man. I'm really just. I just want to know. Ashley faced serious charges, including felony battery against an officer and resisting arrest, along with misdemeanor drug possession and disorderly conduct. McCoy, on the other hand was charged with misdemeanor bail jumping and violating a restraining order. Ashley decided to plead guilty to the charges. As a result, she received a sentence of two and a half years of probation. YouTube algorithm thinks you will like this video the best. Watch and find out if it is right.